we wanted to talk about glutathione. Yeah, the acetyl glutathione was, you know, specifically shown to help improve and support brain function because it can get into the brain. What is glutathione? And I have this conversation on a daily basis, and I did today with several of my patients. Glutathione is our body's master antioxidant. So this term antioxidant, what does that mean? How I describe it to my patients is really simple. I consider it like the sponge inside of every cell, and what it does is it soaks up all the stuff that damages the cell. If the cell doesn't have a bunch of damage around, then it works better, right? So if, if the neuron isn't being stressed because it has to deal with toxic materials or what we call free radicals, or the other term is used is called reactive oxygen species, then what happens is the cells function better. The neurons fire quicker. You're able to recall much, much quicker. And your body constantly will feed this glutathione system. It constantly recycles it. And what we know is, is that the more glutathione in your body, the better kind of stress your, your cells can manage, right? And we know that low levels are linked to a whole slew of things, especially poor outcomes, and especially when it comes to brain. If glutathione is low, what happens is, is that blood-brain barrier dysfunctions, and it allows basically stuff to get into the brain that shouldn't be in there. The glutathione protects those cells that line the blood-brain barrier. They saw that it also improves the injury that can occur after strokes and those types of things. And again, it's because it's soaking up all of those free radicals and all that kind of injury that occurs. So glutathione, one of my favorite antioxidants, it's your, your body's main antioxidant. If it's low, your body's gonna have difficulty repairing itself. This is that kind of master antioxidant to repair those, those cells, repair that blood-brain barrier, soak up all that injury that's in there and allow your, your neurons and your cells to just be healthy and respond the way that they should. It's important to understand, again, we're focusing on the brain here, but having those types of nutrients in your body impacts a broad range of health, anything from brain to cardiovascular to all of these different functions that we have. It's never a bad thing to supplementing. No. And, and I think sometimes the danger around supplementing is that we want that very quick biofeedback, that automatic reaction. And, mm -hmm. and that isn't necessarily the case. I think sometimes the degree to which we are assisting or recuperating our body from damage and that kind of thing, if you know, we had a lifestyle that is very difficult. It can take some time, it can take some time of taking these things, onboarding them, getting them up to, to oh, yeah. levels of efficacy in your body that uh, they can actually do their job. Do you see people where it takes a bit of time and others, they, you know, it's two, three days and they feel like a million bucks? Absolutely. And you're absolutely right. You know, it, it really depends on where you're starting from. Like if you've got a significant amount of brain inflammation and we have to calm that system down, it takes a while to do that. One of the analogies sometimes that I'll use is from a brain standpoint, you know, when patients have strokes, they're trying to retrain the brain to learn something new. Like how long does it take a baby to walk typically, right? It's months. So it's the same thing. So our goal is, is that there was some injury. We have to figure out, you know, the degree of that injury and then and once we, we understand that degree, then what are the things that we can do to improve it and allow the brain to heal? Our brain has this incredible ability called neuroplasticity to heal itself. And, you know, we talked about last time about the propolis increasing this nutrient called brain-derived neurotrophic factor which, you know, I consider kind of like miracle growth for the brain. You know, it helps neurons repair themselves and it helps them, you know, just function at the level that they need to function at. But it takes time, you know, injury in the brain is one of those things that it's a slower process, unfortunately. Yeah. And I think you point something out that I believe is really exciting. I think there was a time in history where we believed, you know, any type of traumatic brain injury couldn't be healed. And there was no natural process for assisting or recovering covering, whereas today all the studies that are available definitely point in a much different direction and, and people are recuperating from some pretty significant injuries. Yeah, I would agree. And it really takes a broad approach. Like there's not one thing that's going to work, but when you start combining good sleep, stress management, exercise, hydration, and really your diet, getting healthy fats, omega-3s for the brain are great. Even the phospholipids, which we didn't talk 
about. Uh, another really, really good fat for the brain you can get from sunflower seeds. They're involved with allowing the nutrients to get in and out of the, the neurons. So just eating a healthy diet, getting good sleep, managing stress and high cortisol, those are the things that damage the brain. You have to have that package involved with you know the proper nutrients in a way that can really help your brain heal itself and get to where it needs to be. Yeah, well, I think that you've done a nice job in creating you know a natural supplement for people to enable them to get those various levels that are actually at the level of efficacy it's not just you know a little bit of this a little bit of that you've actually done some work and and formulated a proper supplement called pure neuro and so at the bottom of this wherever we end up putting this interview we'll make sure everybody has a link to a page that will enable them to to investigate pure neuro a bit further or we have a presentation that we have up for you at getpureneuro.com it's a longer presentation i know people sometimes don't um, don't want to watch a full presentation but it's very informative the problems that we're facing and then the steps that we can take to remedy those problems so we'll put up some links to a page down below that people can go if they just want to read more about the different ingredients that we've talked about in these two interviews. The only thing that I would add is the responses that I've seen from pure neuro out of my patients have been incredible. So it's one of those nutrients. Like it's hard to find stuff that we see really good clinical efficacy. And like I said, sometimes we'll see it in the first week or two. Sometimes it, you know, it takes months. Yeah. But that's what's so encouraging to me is that, you know, my patients are getting better and they're telling me, hey, I really, really like this stuff and um, I want to stay on it. So, that you know, that's the only thing I wanted to add, you know, at the end because it's been, um, it's been great. I mean, any way that I can help my patients naturally, I'm all about it. I don't like to prescribe meds unless there's a real reason to. And usually when we're prescribing medications, the system's not working great, you know? Yeah. So well, that's, that's the interesting thing. You know, you, you see some of these supplements out in, in a Walmart or wherever, just on an Amazon and yours can't be found. They can only, only be found in your office or uh, on these particular websites. That's it because there are just too many fakes out there and garbage out there. And so it's important that we highlight that this stuff is not available just anywhere. So. Yeah, that's true. All right, Dr. Basso, um, thanks again so much, and, and uh, we'll look forward to chatting again soon. You're welcome. Have a great evening. You too. Bye now. Bye.